This is how I live. I live. This is what I love. Uh, this is all the things that my dreams have been made of. Welcome to my life. This is what I love. This is what the soundtrack to my life is made of. Music love life. Yeah, Crystal Jordan, be honest, and myself, Kevin Davis, we are Music Love Life. And it's spring again. It's warm. I'm excited. Are you feeling yourself? I'm, I'm putting all my sweaters up. <laughs> I, I got some vacuum bags. Oh. To, to package all my... I think that's a very adult decision. You definitely have a... I don't know if that's a adult as much as it is white QVC. I swear y'all are always talking what? about some white stuff, but freeze drying your your sweaters is I'm not f- sticking them in a freezer. I'm just you just vacuum. suck out the air, right for for space, and and then you tuck them away in a smaller space. No, I understand, but how many sweaters do you have? <laughs> I have I have many sweaters. Okay. He's just like a, like a, a millennial Bill Cosby. Cos, yeah. And you know how Bill Cosby used to always have a different sweater on. Yeah. I think Kevin that, always has a different sweater. I think that should be your thing. You should wear them throughout, like for the like show, just sweaters. for the show, just he wear them through the, the whole winter. I and mean, hats. He has little hats that match his sweaters and, and vests, like Charlie Brown. I didn't say that. I want to say it's actually kind of dapper. Okay. Yeah, you know. It's... Well, you know, I'm 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 still O H T N. What's that mean? High between two O's, Ohio. Oh, I was like, I don't still, know what that means. I'm still raised in the north, so I have a lot of northern. That was really. I wear, um, I wear hooping shorts under my jeans in the winter. It's it's a northern thing that you do. I thought all guys did that. No, guys don't do that. No, oh, no guys. Guys, do that. I know do that. Grown people. Yeah, yeah they wear. Yeah, I do prefer. Up top. Grown people should not wear basketball shorts unless they're playing basketball. I, I literally <laughs> thought that all guys did that. I really did. I thought all guys wore basketball shorts. Other you just, than have you just dated a lot of athletes? <laughs> is that what that is? That's not an athlete thing. That's an. A retarded thing Like your pants don't fit What kind of pants Are you wearing Where you can wear Basketball <laughs> shorts under them? Cause I mean Unless you're wearing The old uh, Bill, obviously Larry you don't Bird have a lot of, you, Obviously you You don't have Those issues I have basketball shorts But I wear them To the gym <laughs> No I'm just saying though Like what what you know? You got Larry Bird basketball shorts, or you got like Michael Jordan basketball shorts. I just shorts. didn't Jordan. think that guys had you like don't wear the, no little bitties, you and then just straight into the jean. Jordan, yes. straight into the jean. I don't think they go that, straight into it, the right, jean. Right, like they fold un- wrong, and you like. No, you, I don't think guys wear a small underwear and then go straight into the jean. It's like a layer. Yeah, but I'm, what I'm saying is, yeah. under your jeans, it's got that's got to be uncomfortable how to have all that going on under your jeans. I never even knew it was there until when they get undressed and you see they always have on basketball. Shorts. So how many times have you seen this? I've seen it quite a bit. Oh, so how, by how many? <laughs> <Not. laughs> he already said quite a bit. Right. He, al- he already reeled you in with I that one. That, right. <laughs> most of the guys that I have dated wore basketball shorts. Underneath. We're going to get the body count. Before, I'm not giving I think before count. this is year even, is over. Is it even important? I what think does that so. Mean? It's important to me. I don't think is so. Is it less than 100? Of course. Oh, my God. Okay, what she said that pretty confidently. with 100 men? Sheesh. Are you serious? No, I don't. I don't believe. We're going to talk about women who have later in the show, but I think there are a lot of regular no, I, outside of professional women. Professional. Lots. There are a lot of okay. I prof- don't believe that. That's Instagram. A, that's a thoughts? lot of. That's a. That's a lot of people. Would Instagram oh thoughts God. be considered professional? Um, it just depends. It depends on what they're selling. Depends on what they're selling. <laughs> 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 oh my God! I just—I mean, a hundred actual people yeah. is ridiculous. Do you think most guys are still with a hundred women? No, okay. I don't. I think they lie. Okay. I think they're lying. I mean, in the in the scope of what two or three per year, you could what? Yeah, you got to talk in that that thing right there. Yeah. That's by you. <laughs> two or three per year. How many years are we talking? Well, okay. So if you started, when did you start having sex? 19. Okay, so 19. You're in your 40s now. Is it okay to say that on, on the air? I have arrived. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> Simple math, though. Okay. I mean, no, you, I de- yeah, but still, I mean, two how Two or three you- a year is not 100, obviously. No. But, um, and, I, and it's not two or three a year. Remember, I was married for 13 years. We don't know what you were doing. I was married yeah, that's for what you 13 told. years. We don't know what, what you're telling I was married for 13 years. I don't know. You don't be here 24 hours a day. I don't know what you're doing. I was you married hey. for 13 years. Anyway, I'm. Dick not- is free. Remember all this, this dick is free talk you got? I'm sure. How many times you done a? Anyway, great value. What did you do this weekend? 
What did you do this weekend? Yo, I went to actually a, uh, some friends of mine came in town okay. and, uh, and and celebrate. It was a little odd. One, it was dope because so I went to this party. And it was dope because all of my friends from college were there, mm-hmm. right? And so we got to reminisce. And mm-hmm. like, I really, I, I really appreciate the fact that like these are really going to be like my lifetime friends. That's like, cool. 70, 80 years old, we still going to be talking shit about the type it. of right. friends that you Things can not see. Friends. And then when you see them, it's like y'all never stop talking. Right. Those are the right. best kind. Yeah. 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 So one of them is getting married. I found out another one, maybe not, is, is getting out of his. So mm-hmm. there was that kind of transition there. It's was always a little there. weird. But, mm-hmm. I mean, it was dope. It was dope, man. I, I nice. had And the whole time, here's what's funny, too. The whole time, they sitting there talking about, every time I got quiet, they go, Kev thinking of something he going to say on his podcast. <laughs> we know. And they would start talking and, you know, sharing some jokes or whatever from shit from the show. So they'd be paying attention, which is, oh, cool. which is dope. Yeah. Well, now you've shared with us their business. <laughs> you've shared with us their business. So now the one that's getting divorced <laughs> is he? Was he upset about being around the new? Because that's weird. Like around this age, a lot of people are like either getting married or getting divorced, and or gonna that, or gonna die lonely. Yeah, actually, I have a girlfriend actually that I was I talked to two of my college friends that told me that she's forty three and she's done dating. She's she's just giving it up. She's still fucking though, but no, she's not. She's no, she's really not. And she she's, just she's just accepted loneliness. She's ex- not loneliness. She's yeah. happy alone. No, she's accepted that she's going to be by herself. She's she's very she's very very successful. Happy and alone. No, yeah. successful. Come on, I don't believe that. Successful. Mm, 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 what does mm, that mean? She makes money. Is what you should have said. She's doing no. I think people. She you can get enjoyment from from your business if you're a career minded sure, person. Sure, oh, yeah. sure. Yeah. But I think success is kind of all encompassing. So you guys it? It, it takes a man to be happy. Yes, it that takes, is so foolish. No, it takes companionship. No, it doesn't. Yeah, I mean, I it could be a, a woman that looks like a man. I don't care. I don't care if you have a, a roommate or a buddy or you adopt she has a child. Friends. She has friends. She has nieces that she's very close to. A niece ain't gonna fuck her right. That is not the that is not the road to happiness. Yeah, uh, it's very much part I, of happiness. I, I, think, I don't think it is. But you know, I, I know a lot of women have have kind of bought into that idea that you can be happy and alone. But I, I disagree because all y'all be angry. I don't think so. I disagree. Quite with often, that. say, <laughs> bring it up. You, I, you, have I, you ever met you ever met like a fifty year old woman that never had kids and saw somebody ask her, "Well, why don't you have any kids? You should." I have She's a lot pissed. of friends like that. She's You're pissed. gonna and you have a lot of friends with no kids. I have kids? a lot of friends that don't have. In fact, I was the only one that had kids and was married. Is it I like felt fibrosis, like, or they just chose no, not to? No, they just they just have. I guess you know they were actually smart to put their career first. Yeah, but they put it so first that there's no. There's I no, don't think they want children. I literally have like five close friends want children. that don't have any children. I, I didn't, didn't I either. Did. Well, I, not that I didn't want children. Obviously, I wasn't acting I didn't, like I didn't. I didn't think I was suited. Like, I thought I was too selfish. I didn't think I was suited for kids. So I was like, You and I had kids so early that we right. didn't really know what the hell we were talking about. Because I didn't want kids either, but I mean, I should not at that age. I still don't know what the hell I'm talking about, honestly. I, <laughs> this is raising true. kids is what the fuck did it I is. do? What am I doing? It is. And I'm definitely new to figuring this shit out. Like as, <laughs> as much as I, because I was trying to be like super uncle, and I did a lot of stuff with my my yeah, you know, sisters. Yeah, your sister. and I'm the oldest of five, mm-hmm. so I'm used to telling everybody what to do and shit right. like that. But once I kind of <laughs> stepped into another role, it was yeah. like, all right, yeah, this shit is a little different. Yeah, than, they're smarter yeah. than you. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm definitely new to this shit. A lot of stuff that I thought I knew, I'm really just learning for the first time. I'm totally figuring this <laughs> well, shit out. Well, that's blown away. I'm glad Dude, that you're way. admitting that. Because I, I hate when people that don't have children assume they know everything. They're like, well, you should do this. I'm like, you don't even know. And Shut they're like, yes, ass. I do. And that shit don't play so out that's, the same. No, man. that's refreshing. That is refreshing. Because I have, I guess I have a lot of friends that don't have kids and they're always an expert on children. And it's like, God, children, mm-mm. nieces and nephews, not the same. Your home, your seed, not the same. It's just not the same. Yeah, I'm, I'm just real about it. I just, <laughs> oh, I appreciate hey. your honesty. It's tough, man. Godspeed. I, I <laughs> thought I knew, and it's I'm tough. starting You thought you over. knew, and you had no idea. Yeah. And I also think it's refreshing when, you know, I mean, I know I just did it, so I'm kind of patting myself on the back, but when somebody actually admits that even if you've had yeah. kids for a long time, like, you're still, every day is a learning process with, because, yeah. you know, the funny thing about kids is when they're young, 
you you know what I'm saying? You have a lot of control over everything. Right. But when they get a certain age, they've been watching you so much, they know all of your parenting faults. They do. And then they... They, they bounce it off of you <laughs> Like you know you um Yo. You full of shit right <laughs> You like damn And it's like You want to be like Hey look I did the best I can That's all you got right, I right. did the best I right. could hey. <laughs> hey. Hey. I did the best I could I, I was actually So my, my son is home for spring break And he's 20 Right He's a junior Getting ready to be a senior in college And I took him over his friend's house Because he doesn't have a car here I took him over his friend's house and he was getting out the car and I looked out and I was like, put your shoes on because he didn't have his shoes on. <laughs> I was like, tie your shoes up, put them on and make sure that you go in there and speak to his mom first. And, I, and, and, and the guy was like, what are you doing? Like, he's 20. Like, <laughs> shut up. And I'm thinking like, I'm just, that's what we do. If I drove you to your friend's house. Right. I couldn't help it. I, I just, help it. I mean, but is that, is that, he was like, you're just too overbearing. And I'm like, is that overbearing? A little bit. Really? I, I do. I do think, especially with moms and their sons, I, I yeah, do think they kind of. They kind of. I would do over, that to my daughter. Yeah, yeah, you do a bit much. I, I would do that to my daughter yeah, too. I don't think you should. I think it's it's done. Well, you have to just trust trust now that you've done it. Mm, that's kind of rough, though. And uh, my oldest kids are the same age as your kids, so right. I know exactly what you're going through. But I think you have to kind of just let it go and hope that you put enough of the good stuff into the mix, yeah. and then all the other stuff that's on the outside that's not good stuff. Just hope it falls off. It, no, it, no. It just you, you. The good stuff counteracts that. Mm. Mm. I went to a good girlfriend's luck. house that's having a baby. She's the same age as I am, and she's having a a new baby. Right. Her daughter and my daughter are twenty three. She's having a new baby. Wow. And I was just like, I'm happy for her because she's happy, you know. All right. But I'm just like, bless your heart. Mm-mm. I cannot By imagine. Bless your heart. Do you really mean? Oh shit! <laughs> I mean, for her, she's happy, and I think she'll be fine. But I know my personality doesn't lend to that because I, I would be, my kids would have to raise the the, the baby because I would be like, look here, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting on the floor. I'm not playing. I don't know what you're looking cars. for, Man. but I mean, oh my god, they are just—it's a total different world. Two-year-olds can go to YouTube and find information, and right. I don't. I don't even know what I would. How I would react to that type of thing, like I think because me and my wife don't have one of a kid of our own, we have mm-hmm. kids, but outside of before our marriage, mm-hmm. I think that if we did get pregnant, I think I would be okay, just because yeah. it would kind of be the cement. But any other, any any other instance, heck no. Well, what other instance could there be beyond? Like if if it, if we already had a kid, or oh, if, okay. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but you like, know what? In that instance, I say it's definitely. I think it's definitely better to step parent. With someone that you do like Than to co-parent <laughs> With hope. someone that you don't You yeah. would hope You, you don't could. want that baby mama situation that Yeah that's know. true mm. That's true Yeah My partner thinking about Getting out the game Hey man You don't want it You don't want it And even ste- <laughs> Even Stay step parenting Can be difficult it. Like yeah. you know Like It's just different When it's not if, When they're little I think it's easier but when kids are already established, it's kind of like they already know. Like, nigga, you ain't my you're dad. You're not my yeah. And and and, and as a woman, I be, and I'm not your mom, and no, I don't want to be. <laughs> I, you know, I'm just trying to be respectful to you in your situation. But I don't. I just think that's difficult. It's very difficult. It, I, it, the philosophies can be different too. So, like, my yeah. wife, her f- entire family is. They're all very family oriented. So right. anybody who hangs around is family. Right. So it's very difficult for my wife to not say that my kids are her family. Well, that's good. You know what I'm saying? It would be impossible because that's just not how she was raised. That's how that, right. Everybody in her family is like that. You know, um, you know, her mom may have raised uh her one of her sisters. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. they just they're just they're so yeah. closely yeah. knit that yeah. anybody who's even close is a family. That's the best case scenario. Cause I know people that have been with their significant other for years and they still don't regard that person's child as their own, which is difficult. But I understand if they don't have that relationship with them, right. you know, that could be difficult. So And then you have the people on the outside who may not want you mm-hmm. to assume that they're you're their kid. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like the baby dad or the baby mom is like, don't you those are not your kids. Don't let me tell you something. Yeah. Let yeah. me let me explain something right now. <laughs> if anyone ever Referred to my child as their child, I would go nuts. See? Like, it's not their child. No, it's not. It's, it's not. not. But there's a lot of time spent together. So if you're if you're looking at family from a general sense, right? No, and that's. But I'm lucky because my kids are grown. So by the time their dad got married, they were you know 
It was dad and it, it wasn't mom and dad. It was dad and her. Lisa. Yeah, yeah. So the so yeah. Mom, but if Lisa's they were, if I had like a three year old that was like gonna call the other person mom, I would probably be having a problem. You yeah. know what I mean? But I was by the time that happened, they were grown, so I got lucky. You know, but it is difficult. It's and I, very it, difficult. Yeah, it's difficult because it, it, in one sense, you don't want to. You don't want to limit your kid's ability to have that kind of relationship. Right. It could be good. It could be positive. That person is positive. I mean, you're a good, obviously a great, you know, influence on the children that you're with. So it could be positive. And I think a lot of women would want that. You know what I mean? I, I know, you know, that could be a great thing. I know a lot of people that have stepfathers that they're more close to than their own father that have, you know, really stepped in and done that. But then there's, you just, you know, it's just, it's a tricky situation. Yeah. And then what happens if you break up? With that person, if you and your wife were to, to to go your separate ways, then do you still have? I got a homeboy that does. He yeah. has like six step kids because he's been six. in that many relationships with women who had kids. Wow. My God, he should have put some. He should have wow. put some. <laughs> he, whew, yeah, I don't know. You know what? I think it's tough. Like, I, which what you were saying about your wife, man? I think that when when everyone is family, I think that makes it easier. Mm-hmm. To to, to kind of coexist in that environment because if you're constantly pointing out that this person isn't this and this person is that a half yeah. st- half sisters and half brothers and all of that like yeah. if you family you family my sisters are my stepsisters they're my sisters right you know but you're I'm raised saying? like that but it would be different if you if somebody came in later after you guys were grown like say your mom got with a guy that had a child now that was like fifteen and this is like Kevin this is your new brother you're like Huh? You know what's the he just so got cra- here. You know what's so crazy <laughs> about that though? Why wouldn't you want to have a bigger family and like more connections to everything? And like philosophically, it's the it's backwards because us being social creatures, like it seems like we want to connect with more and more people. And the more people yeah. we have on our team, the better our team is. You know what I'm saying? Well, I think a lot of times it become because the person may treat their own children differently right. than they would treat someone else's children. And I think that has to come with time. Yeah. You know, you can't automatically bond with someone else's child the same way that you bond with yours. Right. You birth, I mean, yeah. for a mom, it's because you birth that child. And I think you can love the other child. And, and I think women are very nurturing. And I think we immediately start to parent. I have a godchild that I love very much. And I definitely, you know, could take care of her like she was my child, you know. But I don't know. It's just, I think that comes with time. Yeah, I, I'll agree. I think it, because it takes a village anyway. You know it what takes I mean? something. It really does. And so <laughs> everybody has their role, whether yeah. you're godparent, step parent, neighbor, teacher, friend, mentor, coach, yeah. You know what I mean? You all play a part in the in the development of that child. So if it's yeah. positive, then you know, keep it on the up and up. Keep them off. The- yeah. Is it is it still women's month? It, it is. is indeed. Was that was that too um is that is that where all that those emotions, those feelings. You, it felt really good here. This this felt really good here. I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you guys, out. this felt. Just we're talking about family and nurturing, and mm. it felt good. It we didn't, didn't feel intend, like we didn't intend to do that. It wasn't. Well, I you know what? I am still celebrating um, National Women's Month. I actually went on Saturday yesterday to the Queens of Hip Hop tour that was here in Atlanta. Oh. Yes, with. Some amazing femcs, I guess we could say. Oh my god! Ugh. Was, was, we're no, not really saying femcs. No, I'm just giving you my write up word. Okay. That's the, what we've. But I mean, it was you chose MCs. that word, or was that something that somebody said? You like? Okay, I'll use that. Oh, I, I did. You get conned into that? Or you really like that? I like it. I mm. like it. Yeah. So okay. All right. So for, okay. Not catching on. So <laughs> <laughs> so it was Nikki D. Yo Yo. Okay. Moni Love. Okay. Um, MC Light. Okay. Trina. Okay. Raw Digger. All right. Uh, I said million. I said a yo yo yo. He said that. He said yo-yo. I said yo yo. Okay. Yeah. So Eve, Eve and okay. Remy Ma. Remy Ma. Okay. Oh, uh, right. Okay. Nikki D. There's there's some bars okay. on stage. Okay. Who is okay. Nikki D? No, not gonna do that. Um, no, no, I'm, I'm serious. Who? What's the what's the song? I, you know what? I can't See, sing you're the not going to do that because you don't know. I can't sing the song. No, but, I, but she, oh, oh, and I'm sorry. And, and also Mia X. Mia X. I oh, know okay, I was Mia forgetting X. somebody, so okay. I was trying to figure out. Yeah, so Okay, Mia so X. I have two problems, but the first one is Nikki D. I, okay. I just need to remember. I don't, I can't, I can't. We can pull it up at, at you know, once we finish the show. But she had one song that was very popular. Side note, Early Roxanne Shantae's 
video uh, movie is coming out on Netflix. Yeah, I'm excited and about Sparky that. Sparky D, remember we yeah. had her on yes. the 9010 rule. Yeah. She I actually saw her name in the trailer. In so, the trailer. Yeah. She's so a part of the she's she remember she was telling us about it, but yeah. it was like what? A two, year ago. More than yeah. a year. A year two years ago? Because it was on the other show, actually. Yeah, it was 2018 The 2010 rule, yeah. yeah. It was 2016. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it's finally coming out on Netflix. Another yeah. black movie on Netflix. Another one. I'm telling you, I cannot wait to get my deal with Netflix. But yeah. Nikki, so, Nikki, so, Nikki. That's where I'm, I'm stuck. She, okay. You said her first, too. Like, Well, she opened. She was the first person oh, that we heard from. Okay. Did you okay. recognize her? No. Well, I you know it's hard to recognize a lot of the ladies. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you're being very political about this. Yeah, we don't know who the fuck Nikki D is. Okay, well I don't she remember. had a song, and we'll put it up with the with when the with. Are the you show. are you guys friends with her? Are you working with her? No, no. Okay, at all. I was about to say no. no, no, no. We love Nikki D. No, right? no, 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 not at all, <laughs> not at all. I I don't I'm not working with anyone. I literally went to the show to, to as a fan, to, as a fan of the and queen. as a journalist. My second problem, Queens. <laughs> Is this like some Monique shit? Like, what are queens? What are you? Well, every woman is a queen. Are they the most celebrated women in hip hop? Well, I mean, some of them, I think, I think that, you know, Remy Ma is doing really well right now. Okay. I think that, okay, let me just get to what I was, my point. Because you're going to throw me off. Be honest, just throw me off. I'm just going to look right here. Okay, I I know, I was going down. We were walking. We were walking together. We were holding hands and everything. I'm not going to walk it like I talk. I'm going to walk it like I talk. He was straight here. That's a fiend. That's a fiend reference. Do you know that? (laughs) I didn't. Mia X's label mate Fiend Walking like a Never mind Okay All right. I thought you were on some shit I thought I was 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 about to give her props No sorry Take him away You remember Fiend right Mm -hmm. Okay He knows Uh, All right. so Okay so I enjoyed the most Out of the entire night MC Light Okay I was a big MC Light fan Already She was probably like My favorite I was excited about Eve too But MC Light's show Was so amazing Cause each of them Had their own set and her set was just so polished. And she's a professional. You know, I've, I've worked with her before. Um, she's more feminine these days too, right? She's married and she's... That's not what I asked. She looks, she <laughs> presents herself more in a more feminine way, correct? Uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah. I guess you There was say. a little time there where she was Tim Boots and... Yeah, she yeah. was. That was one, you know, but that's I New mean, York. I mean, was a bulk of her career. Yeah. Yeah, but, yeah. but my point is, okay, lyrically <laughs> she's amazing, right? Okay. In her, right. And her stage presence... And I her voice to, still yeah, got her, it. Yeah, it's, it's her me, voice. To me, I think hip hop sounds like, from a male perspective, Q-Tip, right? I think Q-Tip's voice kind of personifies. When I think of hip hop, I think of that sound, like you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. And I think for a female um, MC Light, okay, but lyrically, her stage presence was dope because that's a big part of you know of, of being an artist. I think is also being able to, you know, engage the crowd and having that presence that people respect. Um, but it made me it made me think like, what if? Because this show was different because there were no men involved. The only man involved was well on the stage was Chub Rock, who was kind of like, you know, helping with the segues between the shows. He was kind of hosting, maybe like kinda, he was the not MC? really because well, kind of. But they had uh, DJ Coco Chanel because they're really big about it being all female. Okay, celebrating this wonderful. You know, movement. It's a wonderful month. It you is. You can do it, it by just, yourself it anyway. Going. Don't ask did nobody to lift no heavy shit. Did y'all have periods this month? <laughs> I'm just wondering. My point is, I'm wondering, I'm asking you guys, what do you think if, what if female rap was was more about talent, stage presence, and not, and didn't have, <laughs> I'm sorry. This had to, less to do. This is about to be a bad question. I already Had know. less to do with sex appeal and appealing to a male's ego, right? Because I put, are you crying? Like he's got tears in his eyes. He's laughing so hard. He's to hold it in. He really is. No, I mean seriously. So I put up this post, and I, I want to get you guys' opinion on it. Oh, okay. Um, because I f- watching that show made me think, like, what if female hip hop was more based on that? So I said, even, um, what if the female rap game wasn't about catering sexually to men, and instead was about who had the dopest lyrics and stage presence? If that were the case, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure more female young rappers would, would be, you know, kind of positioning themselves after MC Light and Queen Latifah. As it stands, no one that's a female rapper wants to be like MC Light or Queen Latifah. Everyone wants to be like Little Kim. And the difference with Little Kim is the fact that she was very overtly sexual, right? So are you guys just staring at me blankly at this point? Like, <laughs> Did you ask a question? I did. My question was, what if it was based on talent and not sexuality? What? Who cares about that? Like, I wanted to have a dope <laughs> voice and be sexy. 
But why is that required for a female when a male... We, we have not required any male rap artist to be sexy. Okay. Never. What? So what? Who is sexy besides LL Cool J? You don't think Tupac? And that a was lot of by, women say Tupac. Yeah, Tupac was sexy by accident. I don't think he was trying to be sexy. LL definitely was trying to be sexy. Women have... That's a part of... It's, it's more important than their lyrics. It, it is. It's not right. I'm sorry. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, um, not sorry. A question. I had a question. Queen Latifah. She's the queen. Why is she there? We, I really wish Queen Latifah and Trina was there also. Did, okay, did I say Trina. Trina? You didn't say Trina. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, but okay. Queen so, Latifah definitely should have been there. I thought. I, you know what? I also thought because it was in Atlanta, the brat really should have been there. That was weird. But I think I, she's I doing a stage play. That, that would have yeah. been a, her set. Would have been dope. She had a lot of hits. Um. If and then also, uh uh, maybe like Fox Missy would have been dope. Missy would have been dope. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Because she's because she's so important to the the culture. Culture, right? She's, she's more than just, just hip hop. Yeah. Right? yeah, she's kind of she's more. She just she's her an entity into herself. But I think it would have made for. So a, a, are we still on the first question? I'm asking the question, and then we right. can move on. I'm just saying, you no, know, seriously. What, guys, what if women were better come rappers? On. No, is that what, you is that what, what you really? Because women are great rappers. Women are great rappers. There were great lyrics on that Which, stage. Who, who is the best female lyricist? Last night. Period. A lot. I, Okay. I, there were some bars in there. There were some Rod bars Digger in some there. Bars. Rod Digger, maybe. Rod Digger. Rod Digger. Remy has some Mia bars. X, maybe. Mia X Mia is has dope. Some bars. Mm, no, she really, actually, Mia she's X really underrated. Bars. She has bars. MC Light okay. has bars. MC Light, Light has yeah. bars. Come on. I like Eve's voice. Eve is dope. Here's the problem. A lot of the women that were probably on that stage never wrote a verse in their life, and if they did, it didn't get it didn't make it okay, to the album. Okay, but first of all, men don't write verses either. We've already talked about the fact that 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 and the men that don't write suck. That's not true. Every even J- Jay Z, the god of all MCs, has gotten records from other people, gotten rhymes and lyrics from other people. That's Which one? that's. Do we need to pull up? Do we need to have a whole I mean, other show dedicated Jay's, to that? Jay's also written for other people. I don't know. I don't know that Jay's had a, a whole bunch of people write for him. I don't. I don't, I don't know say that's write true. for him, but he pulls from other people a lot. Oh well, I mean, he's used Biggie's Biggie. lines, but a lot. I mean, okay, but a lot. Now you know how many, you know how many albums he has, how many songs he has. I don't. I don't know if okay. a lot is the right word. Majority of women have ha- had a ghostwriter that was a guy, Foxy Brown, Jay Z. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's just Kim had Biggie. Kim had Biggie. Like it's it's just. Nikki, Safari, your favorite? It's not my favorite. But I think Lil that... Lil Wayne had uh, Gilly the Kid. But I, I don't think that... Or I think that everybody who's a rapper has had people write for them. And I think that females, there's this whole thing I don't behind. think that's true, though, Crystal. Really? I'm not sure So that, you're saying that only women, that, that female, that, that MC think, Light has someone write for her all yeah, the I time. I think that female it's really, that's no. MCs, I think that female... Do you all hear like, this? really talented female MCs just, they... Come far and few between. It's not oh, that they're. Serious. It's not that they don't exist. Hell, it's like the NBA and the WNBA. There'll never be another Cheryl Miller. That never. Okay, first of Cheryl all, Cheryl Miller, that probably is not greatest true. female basketball player. <laughs> but the time. only reason the <laughs> the only reason hey. that the WNBA does not have the same numbers as the NBA is because people aren't as excited to watch women Why? play basketball. Why? Because you think we don't like seeing women in uniforms. No, I just think that our culture does not want to see women unless they're sexually objectified. Okay, we've agreed. Now, now that's, what? That's now, a huge part of America. What do we do culture? now? That's now that we agree, that's, that's a, a huge problem. part. Of now we that need we to agree. change that. No, we don't. Why? We, that the Queen of Hip Hop tour was in Phillips Arena, and it was it was very it was packed. Was Rhapsody there? No. That's a, she's a dope MC. Yeah, she wasn't there. See, there's even more. We can continue this on. No, no, we don't no, no. need to be. She we been don't there. need to Some be co-signed by men. I'm not saying Hell, that I they should. I wish Lauren have. Hill was there. Well, we know that. I don't know. I don't agree, man. Lauren Hill is, is okay to me, man. She wrote her lyrics though, but Lauren Hill is as a just, female as a female MC. That makes your Lauren whole Hill argument no it doesn't. Boy, it's just you know, it's that black thing, man. Ew. Y'all just y'all just like you're supposed to like Lauren Hill. No, it Check, isn't. She I'm was black. amazingly dope. What she are you was talking dope, about? But she wasn't amazingly dope. I never what? thought she was amazing. I never thought she was amazing. Well, when the Fugees, when the Fugees record came out, what were you listening to? Which Fugees record? The the score. Dope. I listened to the score. Uh, but yeah, but what else were you listening to at the time? What clouded your your vision? I believe the double Tupac album came out in that same that same month or that same summer. Mm-hmm. Stop right there. Do I need to go further? That, so that was all you was listening to. I don't was, know. You know how many years ago that was, man? Do the you point remember? Is, it's a problem if you do don't. Do you remember? If you don't 
think that. But I mean, SWV came out that summer too. Like what? I don't remember what the fuck <laughs> I was listening to. You know, I know what you were listening to. Kevin's trying to apply a scientific uh, uh, explanation. He was listening to Brian McKnight. Brian McKnight yeah. has been dope since the beginning. Stop it. You see, yeah. someone that likes Brian You're McKnight more... like that. Well, I like could Brian really McKnight, but I'm also objective. the guy in the Beehive. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So Put a ring on it, Kev. <laughs> Do the surf. Let me see how you surfboard. Surfboard for me. Surfboard. Are we gonna Are we gonna talk about this? Because I just think we that did. It's, I, I think I, me and Kevin agreed actually before we started disagreeing. We agreed. I think this is ridiculous, and I hope that there are some females out there that are gonna really like guys. Email in. <laughs> email in because they're Listeners. just totally trying to invalidate female rappers. The like most, that's ridiculous. The, the dopest. The dopest. Most recent. Please email female MC in. I can think of that's like actually dope. Come on, is Tia P. I can't think of nobody like Rhapsody, but it's like more recent. And and even she, they're both far and few between. They're not coming out in droves. And those are the ones that aren't even really getting signed female, like that. Female rappers are... They're signing the ones with the bleh. fake asses. Bleh. Bleh. And matter of fact, why did we not talk about Cardi B as a dope female MC? What about Cash Doll? Remember Cash Doll? Yeah. <laughs> Those names everybody. didn't come up all of a sudden. These niggas niggas well, everybody. first of all, Cardi's name, of course, did come up because she's the reigning queen right now. <laughs> but I just feel like, first of all, I feel like men have perpetuated this myth men. that they are necessary in the success of a female. So you're telling me that women didn't take that money and get that deal? I'm not saying that, but I'm saying that the fact that a female rapper, all fe- all those female rappers that we're talking about have been co-signed by a male. Okay. And that's what that's how women get on. You have to be a part of a crew or a clique. Okay. You had to be the, the side chick to this male group. Eve was that for Rough Riders. Yep. Um, Kim was that for Bad Boy. Yep. Like, like then and that's ridiculous. Now that we agree, where do we go from here? We d- well, we need what we need to do from now on is women should have the ability to stand on their own, just nope. like male rappers. You have to do it by merit. You're not good enough. You're not good enough rappers. Please write in, ladies, because this is the type of attitude that we're up against. This is ridiculous. First attitude? All, women, so attitude. if we don't like you, if we don't like you as an as a MC... Because you're not being realistic. Ooh. Kevin, honestly, I think that you're... What was I, that? Think, I think you're a fair person. Oh, now, now he's, do now you he's think, fair. Do you think that in mass... Women rappers are equal to men rappers. He has already said that he doesn't. Are equal to? He, as far as lyrics go, as far as, you know, all the things that make a in great terms, MC. In, in terms of lyrical content, well, whether you're male or female, I'll say in terms of lyrical content, I'm plucking very, very small out of the entire group. I, there's not, I can't pull a whole lot out of the group. It's just the way male it is. Male or female. Y'all are better at uh, walking sexy. We not. We don't even want to do that. Like you know, that is that is so ridiculously sexist. Well, give me some of those other things. So give me some intelligent things. Women do everything that you men do, do do everything, but yes. not better. Men do some some things. Men do better. Some things women men do better. Men are not better. Better rappers. Y'all are better at sewing. <laughs> I, even though you, you know what's sad though, chefs the best chefs are men, and y'all are supposed to be the cooking people. Like. <laughs> From caveman Y'all supposed days. to be the cooking people. <laughs> this is your days. thing. This is your lane. No, no, that's and that's that's what's wrong with that's it's not what's what, wrong no. right now. So you're telling me that, that I'm not better than you at something that you're not better than me at something? I'm not saying that, but I'm saying when it comes to actually, first of all, hip hop really is a form of poetry. And you cannot tell me <laughs> this is getting stretched so far away. No, it isn't. You cannot tell me that men are better at actually putting words together than women. I believe they are. I do not. I, if you look through history, I believe that it's been proven. It's just because men get more of a platform and opportunity to showcase what they do. You know, you're telling me there are no female poets. They don't exist. They do exist. That's not They're what just I'm not saying. better than the men. That's why the men. Oh have... my goodness! There are more opportunities for men. Name what does male, that mean? Na- name a male poet. Uh, Browning. Uh, Edgar Allan Poe. Uh, how fucking far back did you go for Edgar Allan Poe? When you say Poe? poet, how many fucking poets do you not know watch that deaf comedy? You, you, you ain't got no spo- you ain't got no spoken word artist. Those are those are whack. I didn't got- love you is okay. love. L O V. That I, shit is I, whack. I, okay. I, I, I. <laughs> uh, common, common, <laughs> common. Tupac. He had a poetry book. Y'all are just, you know what? They, okay. Be honest is insulting so many sub- subgroups of people. Would you consider Maya Angelou a poet? Maya Angelou was Obviously, a poet. Obviously, yes. she was a poet. Obviously. You guys are just, you are just Those insulting eyes don't bother so me. many groups of people. I'm it's ridiculous. Not, I just think that it, if, if women were better 
they would rise to the top. They there's do no, rise to the no top. There's no way to suppress this. Like, well, here's my problem, okay, right? Okay, so why is Cardi B on the top of the charts right now? Because why is Cardi B... She plays into her sexiness. And she don't, she don't complain about the fact that she doesn't get respect for how smart she is. You're the one who tried... Well, we can say that... Actually, we could do this argument with a lot of shit. We could say uh, male and female comedians. Female comedians are not funnier than men. And I've watched both women oh and God. men comedians. And I don't think women are funnier. Not because I've been told not to like them. They're just not funny. Y'all either feel like you have to say some nasty shit. Well, we do, we, that's the point. Your women fault. have to... Be funny and some other shit. If you say funny shit, I'm going to laugh. You think I'm not going to... You're going to be like this if you say some funny shit. <laughs> not laughing. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. The point is, if you said some funny is, shit, we have been, we have been, we have, we have been taught as a people that. Have you been taught to be worse at, at, at rapping and comedy? Because that's what it sounds like. The part, the point is, <laughs> women feel like women feel like they have to. Oh, they have to. Good call. They have to comedy. Use sexuality to get ahead. That's, that's do what, some other stuff. That's well. a perfect thing. But they could, but they wouldn't. They wouldn't get the stage. You're my telling okay. Is, have you ever seen a funny female fuck comedian? The rules, though. I mean, fuck the rules. Obviously, we can't because people are closed minded. You, You're you gotta, sitting here saying out of your vo- out of your mouth, out of two sides of your mouth, be sexy and accept it. Yep. And then you're on the other side. You're saying talk about something else besides sex. Oh yeah, no, it has you, to be if funny. If you got the gift, then fuck the casting couch and fuck all the bullshit. It's that 2018. They say you gotta go through. Okay, man. so what about Just Tiffany Haddish? She's not talking. Tiffany about Haddish sex. is not that funny to me. She's okay. She's probably one. She's she's funny, but it's not like mm, I'm not paying to see Tiffany Haddish. Jesus, never, never. Tiffany Haddish just she has. I like her spirit. She has attention. I, I like I like her her energy. She has her, she has funny energy. <laughs> you know she's gonna what? say some wild shit, but she like yeah she says wild. She's shit, cool to hang out say with. Funny shit. Is that is that make sense? I watched her special and I was like yeah, okay it does it does it, it actually okay. does. It's entertaining. Did you did you laugh a lot? I your... didn't watch the special. I haven't yet. Monique, have you ever laughed a lot? I've laughed, yes. A lot. Like, is this like. I, I'm not a like, big Monique fan, but I have. I do okay, think she's Okay, name a female some comedian. Funny, some, I think Samora is hilarious. Hilarious? Yeah. Adele Givens. Adele you think Givens she's hilarious? hilarious. I think Adele Givens, yeah. Givens is funny. There was this girl. I named can't Char- suck your dick, because that'd be like a whale sucking on a tic tac. That's not funny. It was funny. Yes, it was. That was funny. I, I, like, that was with that voice. <laughs> that was Did you hear? I did. It was in person. But, and, 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 and the fact when you when she what made it funny was you have to look at her lips and she had really big lips yeah. and it was yeah, and yeah it was very funny it was very funny it was that anyway, that was funny that, that, was, that part was and then and then, and then, and then, and then to week. actually like picture it it was hilarious yeah. <laughs> she did have some big ass lips hey yeah but. but Get you, you just know. be better. That's my, my advice to you, ladies. Just be better. My whatever advice is, ladies, please support. and Because and, this is the type of attitude that we're up against. And this is why we have to change things. This is why no, we have to No, stop that movement. bullshit. More women watch uh, Def Comedy Jam than men. I'm sure of it. Look in the, the crowd. Point. It was always more women in the saying, crowd. But now women are waking up. This, this hip-hop tour was an example of the fact that every female... Com- um, Rapper that came out there mentioned we need to as sisters stick, stick together. We cannot be following behind. The men. best male MC is a ten. The best female MC is a seven and a half, eight. Oh my God! I really hope that some people hear this. And we- who's better than Jay? Who's equal to Jay? Let's just use Jay. Which female is better or or equal to Jay? As an MC, yes. Uh, Beyonce. <laughs> that was a good one, Kevin. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you on your surfboard? I get I it. Can't stand you. <laughs> I get it. I get Speaking it. Jay wrote them bars. Yeah. Speaking of exactly, women. you didn't. But you didn't say an answer. I'm not because I. I think that no matter what I say, you're going to try turn me. it around. Try because, me. Well, first of all, try the female, me. Dave Low. Female, so I get it. Up. No, Dave's I didn't low. say that. <laughs> you said try I me. I did not Dave say no. that. <laughs> <laughs> Give me, try me, try me with somebody who, who's equal to or better than Jay. I would say Lauren Hill. <laughs> <laughs> Why does he do like the evil doctor laugh? <laughs> He's serious. Oh, though. fuck. That's He's funny. Like, he, that's he really, funny. I cannot believe you picked you really, the one person I said I didn't think was that amazing. I, because that's the female, my favorite female Kevin, rapper. Okay, let's ask Kevin. And I'm sure he's going to give us a, a, a solid, basic, you know, balanced answer. Lauren Hill, Jay Z, best MC. Better I mean, obviously, Lauren Hill has not. No, 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 Lauren no, Hill no, has what? not had the opportunities because of her own situations to even. You be heard Miss Education, Lauren Hill. Yes. What's our best Let's song on pit- there? 
Uh, I, this take, I like this take a lot too of long. them. You know Lauryn Hill is like not on Jay Z level. I don't Kevin, think that. I Lauren don't believe Hill, that. I, I do think like I do not believe no, that. No, with the lyrical ability, I do think that Lauryn Hill could smoke Jay Z. Thank you. Whoa. Yeah, Thank you. I do. <laughs> Smoking yeah, like a butt. I'm, what? Shut up, be honest. I don't think so. I'm so hey, man, sorry. I, mean, I wish, see, I wish she Lauren Hill would rhyme again. I really, really do. I don't. She's good. She had one of it's the... 2018. The shit might happen. She might get here by 2020 if you if you book her now. You know, you know what? This is this is ridiculous. Like yeah. <laughs> you got Kevin Yo. Kirk, like this nigga right here. I can't with you. I really can't. I don't like you're care. not even I trying don't... to be objective. I'm I, objective is that's silly. Come on, Jay Z is a much better MC than her. So it's just it's did y'all just be trying to? Well, who is your? Fa- okay, so is there any female? Rapper that you do think is really good. Do you think any of them are good? They're, they're okay. I don't. I don't. That was I, a no. I don't think I've ever bought anything a, but a yes is a no. Yeah. I've never bought a woman rapper single. I never. I I worked with a. a Did female you buy rapper. Rod Digger? No. Um. She had a, she had a dope song though. There was one song she that had was a dope. Trina. Song. You know, no, no trick daddy and Trina. I'm not gonna. No, yeah. about Trina. Um, Trina has some okay songs, but I was, you know, what I'm saying they were all about she's the baddest bitch. I'm like, that's that's not like I can't bob my head. At that. I, I know that, that you dudes bob your don't want to listen to twelve songs of I'm the baddest bitch. And I could get with that. And that's what it is. I, I yeah, could get well, with that. I mean, I understand that, but I do think that if Ben allowed women to do something else, which is why my point was Queen Latifah. Queen Latifah is dope. Mm. MC Light was is is also lyrically. not going to drop soon. Dana Dana is is dope. Period. Did you try to just negate her royalty by calling her Dana? Yes, because Queen Latifah <laughs> is a rapper. Dana is right. an actress. She's a she jazz is, singer. She's amazing. She's you know yeah. what I'm saying. She's a writer. She's a business owner. She goes by Queen Latifah. But and yeah. all those things. She, not at all I don't think them. she does. Yeah. I'm saying Dana because I, that that's all encompassing. Mm-hmm. And Queen Latifah, that part of it, that's dope. When you put it with the you're other trying pieces. to take away from her for the younger from her viewers. Shine. Queen Latifah and Dana are the same person. <laughs> and Queen Latifah was a rapper. I, I throw that out. <laughs> she doesn't rap a lot anymore. She but, was a rapper, but yeah, she, she was, was okay in her time. She was okay, but she wasn't the best MC at, out then. Just she was maybe the best woman. My point was. If women had more opportunities, if we if 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 we opened the platform, there would be more women that were doing it, and more women would be able to be competitive. Now you know we all th- sitting at this table know how greedy these motherfuckers are in the music industry. Yes, we do. You're telling me if there wasn't a woman who was capable of doing it, they're gonna close the the doors, Absolutely. the gates. The, the hip hop and the music industry is one of the most male dominated. Industries yes. out there, but do you think so if there if there not. was a woman who could pull it off, we're not signing her? They don't want that. They that's keep not what trying they want. to no. Yeah, they and, want a woman that but caters they keep to men. Try, hey, that's what Jocelyn Hernandez. She was supposed to be able to. Who said do that? A I didn't say Man, that. Man, look, <laughs> look. Let's, let's just be for real. In we're, this, not, we're not behind this, that. In, we're not. We're not. We're not behind no, that. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead because in this, this male dominated industry, yes. if they would. Dudes have signed some terrible female artists. Yes, as and they all signed behind women. sex appeal. Exactly, that's my point. We don't they need to be suck. going to men to get signed. So we gotta sign men ugly are chicks. Automatically gonna I sign, get it. sign ugly chicks that can rap. The woman that they want to have Check. sex with that is also going to push her sexuality as her forward piece. I get it. That is a prop. I get it. These sign ugly just chicks told that can rap. Check to get you, you guys it. to subscribe more to show my tits, and I let them know that I know that's not what our viewers want. Nobody to see. said. Did you say that? You what said it. You said it. What are you talking oh about? Oh my god, they're trying. You should have left her outside so in the cold. We get our viewers up. You should have left out in the cold. We have to no, show our tits. To get our, our viewers up, we have to have something that's more engaging. You da, da, da. said it. Yes. I said, yo, no, we could just holler at people one by one. Dude could do this. Dude right. could do and then, that. And da, then da, Kevin, da. And then had Kevin told me to show my tits, and I want you all to know because you want a, a mass audience. That is not a little nip slip here or there. Come on. That's not what people They'll want. They'll freeze frame. Who don't want it? Listeners, I know y'all no, never... No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> if, we get, if we get 300 comments on this YouTube days. video... <laughs> if we get three at 300 comments... No. No, if that's we get not what people comments. want to see. And we, we're changing things. This is the month of Women's History Month. This is a national... A perfect month. This just, is... Just, just give me a little... No, no. <laughs> this is anyway, a perfect month. No. <laughs> Where's Amber Rose when you need her? See, that's the problem. That's the problem. So now y'all, rise. now y'all, now y'all gonna push we can't her out, right? Rise because we're only accepted in that form. Why that's are you trying to go against the we wheel? We love the women in Wakanda. 
We love the way you, you're not only accepted <laughs> in that love form. Them. He did not say that. We love he them. He said that he did not no, want to. the women of Wakanda are, are the Dora Milaje Kevin, are getting their own spin-off. You're speaking for spin-off. yourself. You're not speaking for Wakanda him. Wakanda women are wonderful. It's W in Wakanda and women. It's got to make sense. But you said you well, didn't well, like well, the well. angry woman that was fighting as it wasn't sexy to you. Uh, yeah, that's not. <laughs> at least he's honest. I mean, nobody that's wants sexy. to holler at a bitch with a spear. So what is your point? You what? just women should stop what you just rapping. Said. That's or not, we still love you, but I don't want to. Women, ladies. I don't even want to go to my second topic Hold because on. of no. what's happening no, with this. No, I'm first just saying, one. listen, if you want to rap, gonna you're going to have to rap I'm, sexy. I'm, I'm shutting I'm down. Trying to do a, I'm trying to do an intimate. I'm trying to do an intimate conversation with the ladies that are watching. <laughs> ladies, if you want to be a rapper, it's time to step the fuck up and get sexy. And if not, that is not. Stop rapping. We don't want to hear you rap oh lyrics. You know what? We you want just to see turned you into one of those. We want to see you turn around and shake. That you hate. We love it. We love it when you show off your assets. You know what? You just turned into one of those evil men that you hate. That's not evil. That is evil. That's because not evil. you not tell a woman evil that is, she's... Evil is, you got to give me some head also to get on. That's evil. Also? Yeah, I don't want the head. In addition to showing your ass. Right. That's evil. I'm not being evil. I'm letting you know that you're not going to make it on lyrics alone. Sorry. Probably not lyrics at all. More than likely, you're going to have to show your ass a little bit. That's the way it goes. That's what people want to see from you. We're changing Women, women too. Women We're don't want to hear you rap. Yes, we Women do. don't give a fuck about your We're lyrics. changing things. Look at rap concerts. They're not dancing to that bullshit. They're dancing to shake I your ass, bitch, and let me sh- see what you got. I sold out Queens of Hip Hop tour in Atlanta. That was a nostalgia show, though. If any, if Air one of them, you. if Air one of them had came by themselves, nobody was gonna fill those seats. Nobody's filling the theater to see Rod Digger solo. Ain't nobody is filling the theater to see Nikki D by her motherfucking self. <laughs> <laughs> That's just because their music is not. Relevant right Who, now. Which one of them would have filled up by themselves? I mean, okay, Remy Ma, <laughs> Remy Ma would not have, but neither would Fight Joe. That's her contemporary. That's, is, is that her contemporary? Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Which you would squad. think it would be Pat, but it's, it's Joe. But okay, so but let's talk about that. So she's saying. That is weird because he's a rapper too. Yeah. yeah. She's saying Fat Joe wouldn't have filled up an auditor- no. auditorium. Who gives a fuck? Fat Joe is not one of the best MCs. Remy Ma is one of the best women. No. Fat Joe is not one of the best dudes. I don't think. I think you see what I'm saying? You see? You see? My problem here is that it's not balanced. That's Ladies. because it's because it's been imbalanced because there's a patriarchal society that celebrates men and does not celebrate women unless they're sexually objectified Damn or unless it. they're good. Lauren no. Hill. Lauren Hill has one of the most celebrated albums ever. ever. And it will. So it's your, you talk out of the side of your head while you're but talking you about fun. You, you can't you celebrate a female MC just because she's female. Like you still I'm have not, to come I'm, with I'm, it. I'm, I agree, but that's why I'm just telling you guys. If you guys, I wish you guys had been there. You just to said see MC one of the best set. albums ever was Lauren Hill. We yes. all agree that's one of the best albums ever. We have agree. You agreed to that. Yes, I don't like her that much, but I recognize that it's one of the <laughs> best. It's probably the have the single agreed, best female MC album ever. Okay, so you are admitting that. Yes. Okay. However, she didn't objectify herself. No. Motherfuckers supported it. Right. It's global. Right. So what are you saying? My point it's is... It's obvious it can happen if they're dope. But that's one. That's one. There need to be it's more dope. Like, it's possible. No, it's not. It's, 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 there's, again, I go back to what I said earlier. There's are you repeating a system yourself on me? set up. Yes. Am I that sy- bad? There's a system set up where there's one woman allowed per click, and that's I don't it. like you, man. Well, wait a minute. Like wait a minute. I'm sick of this. Move oh, on. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just saying, though, I want to support what you're saying. Do you really? Yes, but it's impossible because women aren't good enough. And that's just, and that's what I needed. To, that's what I need you to understand from the beginning. It's not my fault. Women aren't good enough. Lauren Hill is proof that it can happen. More Lauren Hills need to happen. But it was timing and everything behind the label got behind. Everything that is album. timing. The label has to get behind anybody's album. They're they're more likely to get behind a male's album than a female's because album. Because males, sell, this the is the Monique is conundrum. The ma- males sell more than women. Males are can tour no, that's better. Not than, the Monique conundrum because Monique named Amy Schumer. Who is selling really well and who does? Who's you named that? Fat Joe. I'm like, what? I, niggas ain't supporting Fat Joe like that. He's all right. But I'm just saying, you tried to prove that Remy Ma couldn't uh, couldn't sell out a, 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 an, an a arena. <laughs> uh, she can't. Uh, she can't. <laughs> and a, <laughs> I hate you. I'm just let's let's be real for a minute and let's talk about facts. The facts are women are just not as successful. That is as not men. the fact. That that is not the fact. Well, okay, the facts they're not <laughs> as, they're not as successful. Is but it's fault. not because they're not as talented. It's because we, our our culture is set up to not accept women unless they're pushing sexuality. 
If anybody was close to filling up that stadium, I think it would be Remy. Because she's fact, the most Remy, current. Because Remy, I think, I think last be... year's Summer Jam, Remy brought out all females and, like, rocked that shit. Yeah. Dope. I wanted to work more, for you. More current women, too. I want this whole thing to work. I wanted to, I wanted to shift, man, but it's just... I don't see it happening in rap. It's happening. So, guys, we gotta go somewhere for the, else. the Queens of Hip Hop tour. It, the show is going to be touring. You guys, please look it up. There'll be lots of links from the Atlanta show, which happened yesterday. I think female MC. Well, it happened April, um, March 17th. <laughs> I'm not paying be honest any attention. And I would love, we definitely need some women's feedback on this Female particular R&B show. singers run everything. Men R&B singers don't run it. That's actually not true. That is very true. Let me tell you why. Because a dude will play a female R&B song in his car with the windows down in the summertime. He's not blasting no dude unless he's... Mm. He, you he, blast Brian McKnight. And I got joked for it. Kevin joked me about that. You see what I'm saying? But, yeah. but, but a woman will, will blast either good. one. Women R&B women sells are the, more. Women are, main, are the main consumer, Actually, period. if you were just banging Keisha Cole, I still might laugh at you. I don't care. Yeah. Well, it's, quit yeah, laughing at him for liking Beyonce. So no, no, that's She's totally. Amazing. It's not like he's a beehive member. All right, I, I do you. get official emails. Oh, <laughs> mighty's proud. <laughs> okay, all right. It's our thing. He fucks with me about Beyonce. I fuck with him about Brian McKnight. I'm good with that. It's a, it's a brotherhood. I'm totally good with that. <laughs> so look, this this women thing is 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 not working for you. You got any more women topics? No, I do not. Yes, you do. <laughs> yes, you do. And I'm going to put it on screen right now. What else you wanted to talk about? Cue, well, cue well, the strippers. I don't want to talk about <laughs> 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 hey, hey, hey. Oh, my God. Yo. Cue oh. the strippers. <laughs> this is my point. This is why I did not want to go to my topic. This is my point that... There is a new website. The iron I'm so is on the sick knee. of you guys. I'm the so sick. The iron. He's turning completely red. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm so him, sick of you guys. She tried to get away from this I so did, bad. I she was did. like, wait a minute. This like, isn't going to look. No. This isn't going to fare well. <laughs> what, what, what about abort, a stri- abort, abort. It's, it's, an, it's a new website called Stripper Arrangement. I hate be honest Are right there any now. guys on this website? <laughs> there are strippers, basically. And much like you would go to... Plenty of fish or match.com. Right. <laughs> you can actually go and date your favorite stripper, right? How so much? it says uh, date your favorite stripper, whether you are looking to date some of the hottest strippers around or just need to book a stripper for your bachelor party, divorce, or birthday party. We have what you need. Looking for someone to go out on the town with that looks like a model. We have a great selection for you. Need to travel or go shopping with that special someone on your arm. Then you have what then we have what you need. Check out Stripper Arrangement today. Stripperarrangement.com. Now well, this, is this literally like, this is like Angie's list. No, I'm like, telling you it's like yep. a dating site. It's a dating slash so strippers sign side. up for free, men strippers pay. Strippers sign up for free, men pay, and they or can actually pay. have, or women, and they can actually have uh, access to the fantasy in the strip club. They can actually go out on the town with it. So wait a minute. Okay, so you take them out on a date. You can take them out on a date because some, some men are actually into dating strippers. There's okay. a lot of men into that now. So dating, you take them out on everything. a date. So when do, you, when do you fuck? Before or after the date? That is not on the website. That is not on the website. Do I need to put the pictures back up again? I- <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting. <laughs> when do you fuck? When do you fuck them? This is getting interesting. Well, I, okay. My point was, my point. I wanted to ask you guys. 140 B. 140. <laughs> I think that was the price. That was the going price in my. That's, that's how much pussy is. Is the the going rate the value? But that was years ago. Yeah, it might be less now. But maybe for these women, it could be more. These women probably yeah. can charge more. Well, of course, because they got a website. It looks official as a business. It's well, not just a no, chick I think walking. There's, there's something very powerful about the allure of the fantasy that men experience in the strip club. Sure. No, no. It's a genius idea. Yeah. How does this fare on women do things better than men? Because I think this is pretty good. I don't think men could get away with this. This was the wrong day for this topic. <laughs> well, women, I mean, okay. Hey, if rap doesn't work out, <laughs> stripper, what is stripper arrangement? Dot com, dot net, dot org, dot whatever. It's probably all of those. I thought it was just Instagram, but no. Now yeah, it's... That Instagram has been doing this. No, but did you know that there are girls that are actually creating 
well, I don't know if they're going to do this now because Snapchat looks like it's quickly going out of business that we'll talk about later. But there are girls that are actually charging for their Snapchat <laughs> where you yeah. can actually go. Yeah. yeah, actually yeah. go. And they, they, because I've it's seen like a lot a of girls. Webcam a lot now. of Yeah, a lot of girls doing that now saying, hey, I'm not doing any more nudes or no more, you know, shots on here. You can for go free. find, go follow me on Snap to get all the good you stuff. Get my I have private. Yeah, yeah, my, my private, private stuff. Access or whatever. But it's funny because I I had a, a a friend of mine that was you know she's kind of like an Instagram chick, and I was telling her I was like you know you can make a lot of money stop being naked for free if you're going to be naked you should charge and you she know got what? really upset with me and yeah, I'm yeah like, because you know what the problem is this is what this is what I think the, the entire problem she is got upset with you she oh, got no, upset no. with me yeah no, she's please, like, please 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 bear with obvious. me please bear with me this is what I think the problem truly is we have people that in one hand will ask for women. To be not to not be objectified and be able to come into the industry, you know, without any judgment, they don't have to show their ass or whatever. And then five minutes later, they're saying, "Girl, I think you should show your ass for for money. Stop doing this shit for free." This is the same person. This is our friend Crystal. No, no, this was in, no. within a matter of ten minutes. No, I told her you, she doesn't want these women rappers to be objectified. But you, my friend, I don't want her to be objectified <laughs> either. But she was already scroll. objectifying herself. She had chose to do that herself. So, so instead I was of saying, "Girl, her, stop objectifying yourself," well, she wasn't going to stop. You might as well get paid. She, I, that's, she wasn't going to stop. That's her bread and butter. That now. was what she was into. Gone too far. To she said quit. she liked being naked. She Why did she get mad it. at you though? For, she got mad at me because she felt like she wanted me to suggest something different for her. So she wanted you to treat her like she you treat her. She expected more of you, Crystal. I, she did, and I, I, but I, but I was trying to tell her you're giving away the nakedness for free, and these other girls have caught on and and they're doing it on their Snapchat. But I guess stripper <laughs> arrangement is an opportunity to do that. At least you manage your own. Did you sign up? Hey man, I did not said, sign up. I Pimp didn't. C I am said, not a stripper. Pimpin' ain't dead. It just moved to the website. It did. Pimp, Pimp C was right on point. He was, was a right. visionary. So he was a visionary. Yeah, I'm not paying for that, but I want. I would love to know how much it costs. I think a lot of men would pay for that. I think a lot I of think men they would pay. too. I, I think yeah. men are paying for it. I think they are. I think they they're were paying doing for it, it anyway because people are. Right. There's so many. I I know girls that are strippers, and there's so many men that are coming in there wanting to actually take them out. I think it's like a you know, I can show off the arm piece. This girl I got, especially if they're you know they're they're popular strippers. Some I think I even saw on the internet that was that you had to to shoot your shot. You had to shoot it through her cash app. Yeah. Oh, wow. yeah, you you can't yeah. even, you can't even throw you, your you how my it? name is without a tip. I used to work for a uh, a dope boy label and um, <laughs> a dope boy label. Yeah, yeah. I, I used to work for a dope boy label, and we would go to Blue Flame after our studio sessions and stuff. And Flying. you know, at, at the end of the night, not even in the night, most times, it, you know, he just picked the ones he wanted to kidnap, and that's what he called it, and that's what he told them he was doing, and they knew what that was. They thought it was cool. Yeah, and then, you know, says this has been happening. It's not new, and they fuck though. I don't know what this website does, but the whole purpose of being kidnapped was to have a penis enter you. <laughs> what? I don't know why that was funny to me. I, I, that was part of the kidnapping procedure. It's like, oh, so it was really just it's like an escorting situation. But it's always been that way. Strippers have always done that. It's just you have to be at the right amount of money, or you know, what I'm saying like it's always been though. Yeah, well, the now website it makes room. it more viral. This is more, you know. You can't use that word viral. viral. We're talking about sex and strippers. <laughs> Sounds like an STD. It 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 could be. Mm. It could be. But no, I I mean I you know if the girls are having direct access to their money, I say more power to them. I Do mean, you have to use a condom? I I don't think the website is involved with what happens once you have you know picked up your. You can't stripper. use a condom. Not if you're spending money like that. And as a stripper, you gotta just. Balls to the wall. What? Who doesn't use a condom? Hey, I don't. Just because they're dressed that way does not <laughs> make them. Just because they're wearing a horse, a horse uniform. <laughs> right. Because they're wearing a horse uniform does not mean they're a whore. Hey. But these girls are, are strippers. They're actually at clubs. This is specifically. How do we know that? Well, that's what you can go find them. She didn't get yeah. fired last week. Well, I mean, if she got fired, them. she can find another club. It's not hard to get on at a club, I'm sure. If you have the right talents and specifications. I would love to know how much this costs. You should sign up. As a woman? Why not? Because, I mean, it'll be, I mean, you're a publicist or a journalistic. You know, you could, like, use that angle. But if I sign up and, like, they do, like, a, you know what I'm saying, like a, like a, a sting, sting. <laughs> sting operation, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to be that. I, my thing is, I think this is going to put some of these other websites out of business. Like Instagram? 
No, like what, Match.com. Like, because well, not Match.com because Match actually is focused match, on actually Tinder like and, but Tinder and well, Tinder's so fast. It's quick. What do you mean? POS plenty of fish and there's some other free websites. What do you where, mean by quick? Tinder is just very quick. You just swipe on a picture. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's not any interaction. No words, oh. nothing. Oh, okay. You don't have to text them or chat them. So what do you do then if you if you like somebody? You swipe the other way? Swipe, you swipe, but you like their picture. And then if, you're, if, if it's a match, then you guys can text back and forth. But it's very quick. So I, I put my picture out, and I just swipe through the guys that I like. I swipe right or swipe left. Hmm. It's, How long were you on Tinder? Oh, about a month. <laughs> you, ever, you ever use Tinder? I did use Tinder. How did that go? I, I've never used it, so I, I like that's I, the one I everybody do, always says. Though I deleted the app. I did too. Uh, from time to time, like <laughs> you know. deleted. It, it felt dirty or something. I did. It I felt did. dirty. Like, I didn't like it. No, I, I mean like I would swipe. I would swipe, and, and matter because I knew it was a numbers game. So this is this is what <laughs> no, this is what that. guys are doing. I'm gonna tell you right now. They just anybody that's cute that you feel like you might be attracted to, or you halfway got a shot, you just like that person, right? And if they like you back, boom, you got a match. If they don't, hey, mm. it's kind of like arcade basketball. You can't, <laughs> you know, you throw up as many shots as you can in 60 seconds. <laughs> That's kind of how it works. That's what Tinder is. Is the ball weighted on one side, though, so it doesn't always go in right? Hey, man, everything ain't going to fall. Yeah. But that's yeah. what you do. You swipe back and forth, da 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 da. You get some. And then I don't think that this will works. ever replace something like Tinder or Plenty of I'm Fish. Not Tinder, but Plenty of Fish. Well, I my saw point Plenty was, of Fish as a commercial the other day, my, and there's white people on the commercial. I didn't know that. My whites. point was with uh, the whites, wow. Caucasians. <laughs> the, the, my point was, I've heard a lot of people say that on dating sites, people are just trying to hook up, right? They're just and then the guys get angry because a lot of girls catfish them. But if you can go on a website where you know the girls actually look like. That because there are pictures from them working the club. I mean, there's no risk. There's no risk. Mm. There's no catfish. How's I don't because that's what people people catfish with beautiful women's pictures all the time. Just yeah, because but these it's are a different actual site. strippers. No, but these are actual strippers that are working. What do they the have club. to turn in a, a certificate of strip? I don't know if there's a certificate of strip. <laughs> what <laughs> what type of verification process is there? A background check? On I don't, I know that there's so this is supposed. Well, no, to be, this is a business. There's is money forced, involved, yeah, right? It's supposed to be just for strippers. Uber barely is doing background checks. <laughs> Uber you didn't tell me. Yeah, uh, but if you spend money, cash stripperagenda.com. But it can't be hard because there's so. I mean, usually strip clubs have they everybody's on Instagram you can see the girls that are actually there right. this is specifically for girls that are doing that to be able to monetize their is this just Atlanta or is this global this is nation, I mean, this nationwide is global. this is global but it's this it's specifically it's for girls that have amassed a pop a following and they want to be able to monetize that I just hate to be that 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 one goddess that lives in like uh Johnson, Missouri, and it's like only two strippers. You know what I'm saying? Well, so everybody come, you know is. But the beautiful thing about he could come to Atlanta and then go on stripper arrangement and be unlimited. with a girl from a video that he that you know that that's yeah. also at Blue Flame. Yeah, I, I see the I see the value in it. It's a good idea. <laughs> of course he does. I mean, if we're gonna objectify women, let's make money, right? I think you guys have found something you're good at, though. I think that, I think I think that's why what lying. I think that's why women Whoa. can't. He took make it deep. It. He took it deeper than I ever have just then. I just, hey, can we can we call that out on the show? He just that went deeper than I did. He, just, he went deeper than I ever have. Yeah. Well, I'm not gonna say that. I don't know. He's pretty deep. He hit the back. Hey. He hit the back with that, that one. Is, I've been known to There are so many <laughs> things wrong with what you're saying. I'm just I don't, saying. He went deeper. That was so on a very, very cruel level. Phallic references right now that I'm just not going to touch. It was a joke. It was a joke. <laughs> not going to do well, it. Yeah. All, all jokes are good comedic timing. You have to hit in the pocket. <laughs> Pin the pocket. I just want to take note. Hey. 60 minutes in <laughs> today's show, Kevin went deeper than I ever have. <laughs> But you, who's who's a better liar, men or women? I'm not answering that now. You not getting me, <laughs> right. you're not getting me on record on that shit. Oh really? No, you you went too far with that, Kevin. You went too you far. You probably with that said, one. <laughs> Kevin. I think, I think Who are you? Who really? really? is he? I think you went I too am far so with that over one. You right really? now, please stripperarrangement.com. What do you guys think about that? I'm I'm interested to see what because I know a lot of guys really do like having a woman that other guys are you know, like, will envy him for. So I want to hear what people think about that. Okay. 
You know what? I think this is why I think this is why a lot of women can't be taken seriously, though. This is probably it's getting it. worse. It's yeah, <laughs> this is probably what? it because, like, just <laughs> like as many women uh, come forth and band together and support each other and and really want to demonstrate that you don't have to like them or or appeal to them because of their sexual characteristics. There are just as many women who will who is willing to pop that pussy on a handstand for anything that they can get. Would you agree? I think that it is just the same with men. I think that there are a lot of men who say they want to be taken seriously for who they are. And there's a lot of, and there's another half of men that are like, hey, baby, I'll buy you what you want. Let me take you shopping. So uh, it goes either way. So you agree then? I think it, yeah, but it doesn't mean that it doesn't mean that just because there are women that are that want to be objectified that I deserve to be objectified as well. Eh, I don't know. It's kind of how it goes. I mean, it's kind of it's kind of. You like, don't know who's who. It's kind of it's tough sorting now. Yeah, we don't know as a young person. We don't know that you're smart until we speak to you. And if you don't feel like talking that day, we're kind of left out there to to not know. And we have to go by what we see. We see first. Maybe, maybe. You know what they say? Men are visual. I hate when women say they that. They say that, but everybody's visual. Men are visual. They're visual creatures. <laughs> <laughs> you mean we got eyeballs? <sighs> so I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't know that there's any salvageable <laughs> respect left for women after this first part of the show. I, I don't know that you made a very good case tonight, Chris. I, so. Unfortunately, I didn't know that Kevin. Was, I didn't know Kevin you know was going to no, come will, off the top rope with that shit. Though, matter of fact, I did. But you know what? Let's let's come back because the the shit that that happened this week with Rihanna and Snapchat that was some bullshit. Oh, Snapchat was all the fuck way wrong. I didn't even hear about this until today. Yeah, this was crazy. Really? I don't I Yo. don't understand. And I think I think that there's been like a culture of of um, companies being more. Contempor- like contemporary in their approach. So you have like, you know, people tweeting back, companies tweeting things that you would not expect them to usually tweet or post. But to see what Snapchat did, I'm just blown away by that. Yeah. This, okay, so Snapchat put up the, the graphic on the right saying that, would you rather slap Rihanna or punch Chris Brown? In what format? How do they frame now, this? The, it I don't was know. A game. I guess it was a, no, a, it was a, a game. joke or a game. It was to a try game. To get, yeah, to see you know, which one you'd want to do. Like, like a poll. Is this something right? they normally do though, or is this the first one ever? No, this is something no, that's they've they done other do. things. Yeah. But this was a it was a game and you were, I guess you you pick which one and to get points or whatever. Um to pick which one. But it, it's just then they use ex- that old ass tacky <sighs> picture of Rihanna, which I, I think that's another Well, that's also a very old picture of Chris Brown. Is it? That's like from the time when they were actually together. Those are like really old pictures. So what does it say, Kevin? Um, you're talking about Rihanna's uh, rebuttal? So when she saw that, okay, so her response was, now Snapchat, I know you already know you ain't my favorite app out there, but I'm just trying to figure out what the point was with this mess. I love to call it ignorance, but I know you ain't that dumb. You spent money to animate something that would intentionally bring shame to domestic violence victims and made a joke of it. This isn't about my personal feelings because I don't have much of them, but all the women, children, and men that have been victims of domestic violence in the past, and especially the ones who haven't made it out yet, you let us down. Shame on you. Throw the whole app-ology away. Now, as a result of that, to Rihanna's 60 million followers, a large percentage of them <laughs> threw the app, threw the whole app away. Damn. And, Deleted the accounts, done. Yeah. And and literally, like, that's a lot of control. And um, so Snapchat experienced, like, a, a, a $60 million loss. Rihanna did do some Malcolm X type shit with it. She did. She did. She did. <laughs> she did. She and the motherfuckers marched. That they shit is did. dope. did. Yeah, wow. I don't I think Snapchat may have also been in trouble already. I I don't know where I heard it, but I heard that they're not doing so well. Like they've been taking losses. Well, that losses. makes sense. I mean, think about it. Instagram um initially people had Instagram and Snapchat. People were going back and forth between the two, mm-hmm. but then Instagram created the live function and then also um has the same 
uh, filters or similar filters and they started kind of doing the same thing. So then people could literally just stay on Instagram and do the same thing. There's the whole live story. There's a 15 second story, just like it was on Snapchat. So really, I think people started realizing Snapchat was, it, it didn't make sense to do both. Well, I think the business model is flawed though. So we know how people make money on Instagram because right. you see the ads. What are, is there ads on Snapchat? Well, obviously, yeah, there are. There okay. are. Yeah, there are. There, there are ads on Snapchat also when you're trying to go to different stories. But, the, the problem is that you, you have the same features, except now in one app, I have everything right there in front of me, so it doesn't make sense to have both. Right. I didn't like it because Snapchat, it takes up a lot of space. It's a really big app, and with Instagram now doing the same thing, it didn't make sense for me to have both of them. Both, yeah. But that's, I think that's a good example of how um, celebrities can use their voice. That was in really poor taste. Absolutely. You know, that's an extremely poor taste. Absolutely. Nah. What is eh? I don't know. I mean, it was stupid. It was, you know, it was just, it was just, it wasn't even funny. It wasn't funny. It but wasn't funny. If it had been funny, if it had been something that was, that was. That is not. That's, <laughs> and you know what? I think that's a, a huge part of, of comedy. If you're going to tell a joke, especially, especially a joke that may be seen as Pointed. offensive, it at least has to be fucking funny. Yeah. If it ain't even funny, now I'm extra mad because you said some crash shit. Now you did that. And it no ain't reason. even funny. There's is no there reason. is there some reason for us to be comparing a Chris Brown to Rihanna thing right now? Is there some Not reason? At all. No, like, that shit was so You see what I'm saying? It was the so timing old is and bad. out of place and yeah. The timing is bad. It wasn't funny. It, yeah. Yeah, it kind of like, There was no reason to bring that up. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't get it. I don't get it. And why would you, would you rather Like I get why you might say would you rather slap Rihanna but why punch Chris Brown? I don't get it. Well, I think there are a lot she, of people that still she punch dislike him? Chris Brown. Yeah, a lot of people still dislike Chris Brown. Yeah, a lot of people still for dis- that incident. For that incident, but I, a lot of but people. Why would you want to slap Rihanna though? Like, yeah, I don't, what reason? I, it, that's what I'm saying. You see what I'm saying? It's I, weird. I can understand why you want to punch Chris Brown in comparison to, but they were making fun of the fight, and that's just not. It's just not because yeah, who hates Rihanna? No pun intended. Uh, have you have you seen Rihanna? Like, what is to definitely what is to sixty hate? million people don't. I think my wife said something about. Well, I'll, I'll keep that for. No. <laughs> I saw an article that said Rihanna is the definition of the word fuck. She is the visual definition of fuck. Nah, somebody gonna wife Rihanna. I see it coming. It's twenty eighteen. Somebody gonna wife Rihanna. She better. They better hurry up. I think it's that that. Uh, Guy that she's dating now yeah, that's yeah, a billionaire. No. I don't think it's gonna last very long. She better hurry up. She has a window. She? Yes, because Rihanna wasn't all that in the beginning. She all of a sudden became the definition fuck or whatever, but she wasn't that in Ponda yeah, Replay. She was, she was a child. Yeah. She was growing into how old was she? How, how old was she in Ponda Replay? She was grown. Probably 18, 17, 18. She was young. She was young. Was so you're telling me in 18, she wasn't. Look, we're not doing that with you now. I'm just saying she got a window. She wasn't. The definite the epitome of fuck when she was on Pine Replay. Doesn't even matter though. She hadn't even she hadn't even, she her body had to develop. Shit. I'm saying, but it's developing. What if it get there has to be a point where now now we got thick Rihanna now. I like Yeah, but Rihanna. I'm saying what if thick Rihanna don't stop? You know what? With Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Becoming Rihanna. <laughs> I don't know. Just, just gonna go down there with I'm just saying it, it's time. You better wife it up. Why are we quiet? <laughs> Why are we quiet? I can't. Sometimes they just have to be. Pregnant. You know, you know, like Mexicans and stuff after uh, a certain age, man. You know what I'm saying? I like guess there's a window with Mexicans, with Puerto Ricans. There's a window, man. You got to get them. And I know she's not Puerto Rican or Mexican, <gasps> oh but she's right God. there in that. She's beige. She's she's right in that Asian. place, though. It's it's a certain age, man. I'm telling you, after a certain age, those women they they spoil. Okay, okay. Like okay. they're right. Okay, Kevin. And they, and they <laughs> spoil. We, Kevin, we have insulted. This has been a. Special you got to just show put those bananas in the refrigerator and use them in something else because you can't eat them as a banana anymore. And numerous. What do you make like a people. banana pie or something? What you do with those bananas that get brown? Pudding. Pudding. You got to make some pudding yeah. with that ass. You have to put you know in that what? ass. I, I think that's a light. That's a light. You that's make a light. smoothies. Is that's what a light. You do. Oh my <laughs> god! You oh make my smoothies. God. <laughs> you don't agree. You don't agree. I You're don't. telling me you don't recognize that. First of all, may I say that men have a very short window. So, yeah, I, we're not even men talking don't about even men. Take care of themselves. Ever they're saying. young. Ever young dudes don't take care Yo. of themselves. So you, I mean, I. Niggas I'm not get gonna, a gut and brag about it. They do. They don't care. I'm full, nigga. Right. Like I'm happy. And women, we just accept. That's it. not we what we're have talking sh- about. That is what do we're talking about. Do you not agree about. that? No, I don't. So you ain't never seen a bad body. I've seen bad bodies, but they was bad 
It was it was bad. <laughs> Wait, didn't we didn't we do a poll or something like that about the buff dude and the dad bodies and which yep. which one women like? Women like all dad of dad bods. I'm just saying I mean, though, bods they was that. bad and now they bad body and you know it happens and it happens a lot to those Mexican slash Puerto Rican slash. I am not. That little area, Obviously, man. Obviously, Jennifer Lopez is not dealing with that. Jennifer issue. Lopez is an anomaly. Anomaly. Jennifer Lopez may be the finest Puerto Rican. Are you on? A, are you on? Are you trying to get a like a award for this? Show? Are we? Are we doing a contest? <laughs> I still this haven't time? done better than Kevin. <laughs> I still have. Like, you, you came we, up the we, ring roll. Like, You're on your own lane. I is don't, this I don't a need... special show for you that you want to? You want to try to see Jennifer how many Lopez is people probably, you can name insult a, name before the fine, show is over? That's not insult. She's probably the finest Puerto Rican ever. Name a finer Puerto bags. Rican. <laughs> He's using his beige bag. Name, I don't name even a think he's Puerto doing Rican. that. I think he's trying. To, he's trying to help us get our subscribers up. That's what's happening <laughs> wow. right now. Vincent. That's what's happening. He's showing his tits. That's wow. what's happening. He's showing his tits. And I, you know what? I I appreciate the effort. I am not pandering. You are, Jennifer Lopez. You are name a finer Puerto Rican. Not your cousin. Not some chick you used to date in high school because she probably got a bad body now. I'm talking about name oh another. My God. Name the finest Puerto Rican Can you know. Can we put up a disclaimer at the end of this show? Can you do that? Uh, says, um, oh, the, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm wondering if we're going to start getting tit pics in our yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to get hate hey. mail. The, ex- the views expressed in the Music Love Life show are not they are, ours. are not supported <laughs> they are, they are by ours. the entire show. They're ours. I don't yes, support any of this. <laughs> no, we don't. Hey, uh, I know. Let's all go to a female rap battle <laughs> to celebrate <laughs> Women's Month. <laughs> oh my God. I love women. I love you guys. You're so wonderful at everything that you I've do. Never, you know, I've never seen no females at the rap battle with like loaded lux and all those. <laughs> you know why? Like that shit. I love you women And I think that This is month Somebody Is a special month This is obviously The Beyond show And <laughs> I'm I don't want any part Of this Today has been You're in rare form I'm today. not But I just are. I love is this, Maybe this is because Of, of March And if See, that's the case that It's nice women's shit. month again, women. Guys all right, Let, me tell, so, let me tell you something No <laughs> <laughs> No, girl, for real. Got, Doing got, some beige so, ass shit. No, so next Sunday. I appreciate you. Next Sunday, I have a, be- a, a, a beauty brunch that I'm my company has partnered with two other women to, to put on. Okay, again. And it's called Legacy of Beauty. Mm-mm, We're mm-mm. called Legacy You're of Beauty. You're not getting away for, with it. It's for um, entre- entrepreneurship to promote sisterhood and entrepreneurship to close out National Women's Month. Mm-hmm. Are we invited? Oh, you're not invited. No, no, here's the problem. You're objectifying women in the title of your fucking brunch. Legacy of Beauty? No, it's not. not. Beautiful, beautiful women brunch. It didn't say that. That's yeah. not what it's called. It's called Legacy of Beauty. Okay, why Legacy is it Legacy of, Legacy of Intelligence? Legacy of Intelligence. Because it's for beauty Legacy entrepreneurs. Legacy of being good rappers. It's for beauty entrepreneurs. It's for be- entrepreneurs that specialize in the aspect of beauty, i.e. Women. hairstylists, makeup artists, wardrobe stylists, People like that, yes. Which women are very good at. I agree. So this is an excellent place to give credit to women. I think this is this is the, this is your lane. Be honest, you're offending me. Okay, you've hurt me with your words. I hurt you, you Kevin. You've hurt me with your words. I think this is an excellent lane, and I commend your. I would like to come to the brunch. I you are not invited. Your, your Kevin's wife trying to and get, your girlfriend are invited. Kevin is trying to get not. to the brunch. That's the only reason I've offended. No, him. his 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 girl is invited to the brunch. I will send you. A invite for her. Doesn't matter. You're not going to be invited back to the rap the rap show. Ladies, go to the women's brunch. It's beautiful. Don't go to the rap concert. You can't rap. Oh my God. Okay, let's just, you know what? I want to just close out. out I just, Black I'm people complain too much. Did I say that yet today? <laughs> well, it seems fitting for you to wrap up the day by saying that. You remember there was a time, though, when, never, you never mind. I, I, it's, I'll save it. I'll save it because you guys aren't ready for it. I'm already pissed off enough women today, I think. And don't forget the Latinas. How? Why would they be pissed? Are you serious? Why would they be pissed? They just about suggested that? that they have a short window of being attractive. That's not a suggestion. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you, subscribe. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> that like is... and share. Or this reckless shit. See you next time. Are we done? Are we, are we, are we, are we done? Are we done? I don't know. Are we finished? Oh, are we wow, done? Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> oh, my God. Music Club Life.